Start again. Hello everyone. Um, I thought I'd give you a little heads up with my diesel heater that I fitted to my Pajero. I uh, initially we installed it, uh, me and my friend Adam, um, and it worked fine. But the intake hose is basically a bit of tin foil wrapped around some wire, and uh, it collapsed uh, while it was in use, which completely coked up the inside of the, uh, the heater itself. Um, so initially, what I did is I changed the um, intake hose for an, a, a separate exhaust hose just because it's made out of the same material, stainless steel. There you go. Looks a bit like that, all right, but that's uh, not it, but it's similar sort of stuff to that. Uh, and that solved the problem from it just collapsing on itself through any sort of uh, pressure, air pressure, or from any blockage. Um, so I did that, but it still wasn't working because it carboned up inside. So uh, I've just made this little video for you uh, to give you an idea of what to do if the same thing happens to you. Okay. Um, having a go at uh, cleaning out my uh, heater. So I'm starting to strip it down, as you can see. Just thought uh, for you, for a bit of future reference, if you get um, a new sort of glow plug kit or service kit, it comes with, obviously, a glow plug and some gaskets and you get a nice little uh, special tool which you need that slides over the cables to get in there and it doesn't need to be tight it's only hand tight and there's a little bit to stick a little screwdriver or a bar in just to give it a twist um, doesn't come with atomizers but i bought a bunch as you can see now the easiest way to remove these is with this specialist tool an eight millimeter coach bolt which literally just once it's in there you just screw it in slightly and then pull the whole thing out and then when you put it back in you need to make sure that it's in all the way apparently but yeah so an eight millimeter coach bolt and wherever the other thing is the the little uh, spanner plug spanner thing which comes with it these aren't very strong but you don't need to do it up tight anyway so i'll just give you a heads up with that before i go any further I don't know if you can see in there, Adam, but it says black. Watch this. I haven't put anything in here yet. It's absolutely full of carbon. It's got to be what the problem is. So I'll give it a good clean, put it back together. Should be okay. So I'll give them a good clean. And now, in the sort of combustion chamber a bit, I'm just burning off any excess stuff and trying to burn away any uh, crap and I think this is where the main problem is the combustion chamber I've just cleaned it out as well uh, well all of it really just burning off all the see there's there's still crap in there so this should hopefully get rid of it seems to be working but a lot of white smoke hopefully that'll uh, that'll clear I'm just gonna let it run for a bit but it's banging away Toasty. Well, there you have it. As you can see, it seems to be working fine now. Uh, only time will tell. Um, but uh, I still have faith in it, and uh, when they work, they work very well. So uh, I hope you found this informative. Cheers.